Andrew, good morning. Lovely to have you in studio as always. Let's start with uh, the homegrown book, and it's Greg Marinovich, who's already uh, well known as a member of the Bang Bang Club, and he co authored that book, The Bang Bang Club, about four photojournalists and their time in apartheid townships in the early 90s. Uh, and now he's got shots from the edge, which is a more of a global look, I understand. Yes, so this book, uh, the subtitle is a photojournalist's encounter with conflict and resilience and some of these are stories and photos that couldn't make it into other books so he decided which were his his favorites and the ones that affected him most all across the world so you've got photos and stories from Somalia Angola Zahir Bosnia um, and plenty at home as well so these are ones that really affected him um, and you know ones that I said who couldn't that couldn't make it into mm. other books but what interested me a lot was what draws someone to conflict reporting in the first place it's it's not something that is for everybody so I asked him this question we uh, spoke to him via Skype just last week let's take a listen just look really you know I got kind of stuck into it during the 90s when South Africa had its transition from apartheid and then I started finding it really interesting and, and what happened with people and how people reacted in these situations fantastic terrible all these kind of things um, and it became my profession so I would go from these war zones to war zones or conflict zones and I would always you know make notes and anecdotes and stuff in notebooks that luckily I've managed to keep the majority of them so I have these kind of memories of these conflicts that I think help to make us understand what these these things mean and not what politicians say oh we're going to war it's civil war and all this nonsense you know <laughs> so one of the things that really stands out in the book the photos really they're very moving I'm mean, looking at this one now on the screen it's what is do you know what that's about so uh, that's a catapult that one is from Bosnia if I remember correctly yeah. and uh, it was in sub at somebody's house there's this catapult ready to basically go to war or be used as a weapon except nobody was using it so some of these photos are in stark contrast to the situations that they find themselves in and it was quite they, interesting so that at the same time someone was doing their washing that's what it looked like anyway absolutely so <laughs> like I said the stark contrast between normal life and what is happening on the sidelines the conflict mm. and Greg really he photographs without judgment he asks the the viewer and the reader of the book to make their own judgments mm. about what it is that they're seeing but the book isn't just about it's just not just heavy it's not just about um, conflict it's also like I said about resilience and hope and I asked him about that as well let's take a look people struggle through these things and and not all people obviously some people are really noble under extreme pressure and, and I think that's very gratifying as, as fellow humans do you perhaps have a favorite story I know it's probably a very difficult question to answer one of my I think some of them are my worst favorites, kind of like the Tokosa story, something I spent huge amounts of time on with the former child soldiers. And that's my worst story because, you know, so many people that I know well and, and really liked and loved got killed in that. So, um, and there's no resolution. And so I kind of hate that situation, but I think love the story a lot. Mm. Mm, very moving. Worst favorites. I, I think I understand exactly what he means. Tell us about this picture, Andrea. So this was taken in Somalia, if I remember correctly. Um, obviously, there was a famine going at the time. Mm. It's uh, one of the photos that also another member of the Bang Bang Club uh, got into. Kevin uh, Carter, was it? Yes, Kevin mm. Carter. He got into some controversy after taking that picture. Mm. So, uh, again, the reader and the viewer is asked to make their own mind up what what it is that they're seeing mm. uh, the journalist 
is asked not to intervene. The journalist is asked to present you with something, mm. and it is up to the viewer to decide what it is that this means. It's interesting, though, they are bystanders and they're not supposed to get involved, but often they change the trajectory of a story. If you think about um, Greg's uh, book around Marikana and the shots that he took from scene two opened up a whole new level of investigation, didn't they? Absolutely. So they're very powerful in that sense. They can lead to something more. Mm. It is up to other people, often authorities, to take action uh, after what they've seen. That sounds like a great read. I see there's lots of text. It's not just photographs um, and really a fascinating story of uh, Greg Marinovich's latest book, Shots from the Edge. Let's move on to something which is lighter and easier to read perhaps, but it does speak to very real issues. Ben Elton's latest identity crisis, which I absolutely love. Now, for those of you who haven't read it, it's very much about, uh, it's a satire on social media in, in many, many ways, um, but also the very frightening and polarizing power of social media. And, you know, one reads through it, there's, at the centre is this uh, police chief, rather hapless, because he just doesn't understand how social media can take what he says and completely change it around, and suddenly he's being trolled on the mean streets of Twitter. Um, tell us about this book and what you enjoyed about it. Well... At the back, it says that this is a blistering attack, and I kind of have to agree with it. It's very scathing about the way that outrage can often be manufactured. Mm. So there are very obviously things that are worth being outraged about and hashtags that unite people. But at the same time, uh, the, a lot of it is manufactured by the people. So one of the things that's very interesting in this book is there's an agency that's kind of a play on Cambridge Analytica. Yes. <laughs> and they are able to gauge the mood of the UK, to gauge the mood of the nation. And what they do is they find hashtags that will polarize people and that will divide them. Because in this book, where rather funnily, uh, Brexit has already happened, but now there's a campaign for England to declare independence from the rest of the UK. So, <laughs> so there's it's going a, one further. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's an England out campaign. And this agency is able to polarize people further and push them towards a certain uh, feeling and uh, about this um, about this independence declaration. So, and it's kind of a lot uh, a play on what happened with Cambridge Analytica and the way that it's managed to interfere mm. in the U.S. elections and on Brexit. What I love about Ben Elton's books, this genre of the books, because he does write other types of books as well, is how he is absolutely on the money on current issues, whether it's reality, television, or social media. But it doesn't become a worthy document. It's entertaining, it's pacey, and filled with amazing characters. Absolutely, and it's, it's funny. Um, yes, it is. I, that's one of the best things about it. So, uh, you know, and it looks at how we create these identities online, and we kind of feel and think that, well, whatever we say on there is a safe space, and it's not. It's mm -hmm. not a safe space at all. We think that it is. Whatever we say online can be taken and twisted. And, uh, you know, a lot of people will then say something outrageous online and then get taken to task for it, and then they go, oh, well, that's not really who I am. <laughs> if they've said something racist, for example, that's not the person I am. Mm -hmm. But if that's not who you are, then who are you? Absolutely. It's a great read. Certainly one to settle down with on a Sunday afternoon. Andrew Fabeg, thank you very much as always for coming and chatting books with us.